What's up, YouTube? Right here is a 2023 Coachman Clipper 17 CBH. It's a 2896. It's only 20 foot 5 inches long overall length, 10 foot high, 7 foot wide. This is an awesome lightweight camper that you all have to see. Let's see it right now. All right, let's go over the 17 CBH with you. So starting right up front, we have a manual tongue jack, 20 pound propane tank. The coupler is a two and five sixteenths ball, and we do have electric brakes on this. Right behind the propane, we have our L-shaped brackets. That'll be for the battery box and the battery. I hooked up the jump pack so we can see inside and turn on some lights. Over here, we'll see our pass-through storage. In the pass-through storage, on the other side, we have our power cord, manual stabilizer jack handle, and more. So right next to that is going to be our water connections. Right here is our fresh water fill. This is when we're going off grid, and we're using the fresh water pump and the fresh water tank. Down here is our city water connection. This is when we're at the campground or we're at our house, and we already have pressurized water, and we're using our garden hose. Down below, you'll see that there's the fresh water drain. Fresh water drains more or less for winterizing it to get all the, you know, the low points of the water out of the system, as well as your low point drains. Right here is an awesome wheel. Yes, who cares? Has cobwebs and spider webs in there. But right here is telling you that there's nitrogen in the tires. Oxygen is friendly. Feel free to use air in the tires with the nitrogen. It's like 30%, 37%, something like that. Um, nitrogen is 30% oxygen. So just use air if you'd like to. It's a lot cheaper. I did hear Costco gives away free nitrogen. Don't quote me on that. That's just what somebody told me. Right here is your furnace exhaust. Dump station below. Gray is okay. Black is for crap. This is a toilet. I rinse the toilet out first then rinse out the toilet lines with my drains, which is my sink and my uh, shower drain. Right above that is going to be our coaxial cable. A lot of campgrounds offer the cable or the Wi-Fi now, so I just carry around a coaxial just in case. Right above that's where we put our power cord. This comes with a 30 amp power cord. In the back, we do have two stabilizer jacks. Just to stabilize the unit, we have our back corner. Uh, this is a square bumper, so we can store stuff in it. As you can see, it is in there pretty tight. Um, all you do is pop off this little cap, and you can store things like a sewer hose in there. Water heater right here. Then we're getting into our spare tire in the back. Up top, we are wired for a backup camera. You'll see the spare tire is on a bracket. So if you want to move that bracket around and you want to put something like a, you know, outside grill or outside table, you always could. Outside heater. Down here are going to be our low point drains. Right back here, this little D hook. They call it the leash link. But it is perfect for toys as well. Um, you know, hook up your bikes or your grill so you don't have to worry about those overnight, depending on where you're sleeping. We have a 12-foot awning on this baby. This is an electric awning. Right here is going to be your vent, 110 outlets. We do have a screen door on there as well. Then we'll go right out and show you the front real quick with this pass-through storage side. Manual stabilizer jack handle, power cable, and right here is showing that you're ready for solar. Just plug in a solar panel, a briefcase style adhesive, or briefcase style or adhesive style solar panel to it. Now we'll walk inside. As we're walking inside, you'll see right up front, we have this nice big east-west bed. Shelving unit up front with a little storage underneath. Perfect for your nightstand over in the corner with a charging station. 
up top with a shelving unit all the way across. Windows on both sides for the cross ventilation. Then we're going over onto the overhead cabinet. Down below, we're going into the dinette. The dinette does have the two legs. The legs pop out, tabletop comes off. Tabletop sits right into these brackets with their four supports that pop down for a, ta uh, for a bed. So then that goes down into the bed. These right here double up. You use that one over there as well. Comes up here, and that turns into your little single bed. It is perfect for a temporary bed, and even for us tall guys, we can just kind of go diagonal and hang our feet off. Then we get over into the kid beds or the bunks. This one's tucked all in. It has a wall right here. USB chargers in the back. There is lights in the back here too. This one has the open wall, so you don't feel all closed in. Then we're going into the bathroom back here. Bathroom is nice and big for how small it is. You know, you've got plenty of room here. For what I'm used to at least. Above the bathroom you have your vent. Above the shower, you have your skylight. Right there's the shower head. Now, we're coming out of the bathroom. And we're going into the kitchen area at this point. Kitchen area. This nice big 12-volt fridge. With the freezer. into our overhead cabinet here. Our hood vent, two burner stove. Shelves in there, our sink is here. This camper comes with 26 gallons fresh, 26 gallons black, and 26 gallons gray, as far as the water tank levels go. Now over here on the wall, we have our 110 outlets, our thermostat, and right up here is our master control panel. So our master control panel is going to give us our battery level, fresh water, black water, which is the toilet, and our gray water, which is our drains. Then we have our, heat, our water heater, water pump, ceiling lights, awning light. For the buttons to retract and extend the awning are right here as well. Just up and down, easy to use too. On the awning too, you also have a manual override on the top right corner just in case it fails or the battery dies on you. So. This right here is the 2023 Coachman Clipper 17 CBH. Again, it's just under 3,000 pounds. It can be towed with almost anything. It's perfect for the family. Still lightweight, still small. So I hope you liked the video. I have a lot more coming. Please hit that subscribe button. Keep on coming back for more. Thanks for watching.